For today's lesson, you will need a pencil and a sheet of paper. This book shares the story of Groundhog's Day from the groundhog's perspective. Gus the groundhog can't remember the last time he saw his shadow, and he's getting worried. Will Gus be able to find his shadow, or will he find something even more exciting? You're going to have to read to find out. What do you already know about Groundhog's Day? Before we begin, let's go over some sight words. Here are some words that you will see frequently in this book. They are it, my, and you. We will say each word three times. My turn, it, your turn. My turn, it, say it. My turn, it, your turn. My turn, my, say it. My turn, my, your turn. My turn, my, say it. My turn, you, your turn. My turn, you, say it. My turn, you, one last time. In this book, there are some tricky words. We know we can read through these tricky words by looking for chunks we know, saying each sound slowly, saying the sounds faster and faster, then reading through the whole word and thinking, does that make sense? Let's try an example. When I look at this word, the first chunk that I see is the word row, row. The next chunk that I see is b er, b er. Let's put these two chunks together. B er, row, b er, row. Let's say that a little bit faster. Burrow, burrow. Burrow is a word that you will see in this book. Let's try another example. The first chunk that I see in this word is ch, ch. Ch is the ch blend. The next chunk I see is er. Er is a word ending I know from words like her. The middle letter is e. E makes the e eh sound. Let's put these together. Ch, eh, er. Ch, eh, er. Does that make sense? I don't think so. There are two E's in this word. The two E's together will make the long sound. We are going to say E in this word. The last letter is ER. Let's put these chunks together. Ch, E, ER. Ch, E, ER. Let's say that a little bit faster. Ear, cheer. Cheer is a word that you will see in the book Groundhog Goes Outside. Now it's your turn.
pause the video to sound out these words on your own. Remember to look for chunks you know, say each sound slowly, then say the sounds faster and faster, and put together the whole word, thinking, does that make sense? It's time to read our text. While you are reading, I want you to think about the question, how does Gus's feelings change throughout the book? Now, pause the video and resume when you have finished reading. comprehension questions for you to answer. To do this, we will be mining for evidence. When we mine for evidence, we find the answers in the book. We turn to the correct page number so we know where in the story the information is. Remember, book, page number, and where. If you lost something important to you, what would you do to find it? Why can't Gus find his shadow? Why do the people cheer for Gus when he goes outside? What is Gus's problem? Does he solve his problem? We are going to end today's lesson with some spelling. I have three spelling words for you. We will say each word three times, then we will tap it out, and finally, you will need your paper and pencil to write them down. Our first word is the word shout. Shout. Say it. Your turn. One more time. Shout. Let's tap out the sounds we hear in the word shout. Get your tapping fingers ready. We are ready. Shout. Sh. Ow. Ow, t, shout. Let's spell the word shout together. Shout. Sh. That sounds like the letter blend S H. Sh. Out. Ow. That sounds like the letter O. Sh. Out. I know the word out is a sight word. Out is spelled O-U-T. Sh. Out. Shout. The next word is the word chalk. Chalk. Say it. Your turn. One more time. Chalk. Let's tap out the sounds we hear in the word chalk. Ch -awk. Ch -awk. Chalk. Pause the video and use your paper and pencil to write the word chalk. The last word is the word round round. Say it. Your turn. One more time. Round. This time I want you to tap out the sounds you hear in the word round. 
I will tap with you, but you have to say the sounds. Pause the video and use your paper and pencil to write the word round. Scholars, thank you so much for reading with me today. I hope it helped you grow your